GTA Online. A game that's been out for almost 10 years. Wait, no. Past 10 years. Yeah. Over a decade. But it's a game that's revolutionary. A game that everyone tried to convince their parents to play. It's truly something special. But nowadays, especially with the hype for GTA 6, it can be easy to get bored in GTA! Oh my god! So today, I'm going to go over 10 cheap things to do when you're bored in GTA Online. Let's get right, right into it. Ah! <laughs> Number one, explore. If you haven't explored the entirety of the GTA map, you should. It's, look at this. It's so open, there's plenty of places to explore, or, and if you haven't, I would recommend it. It's a good way to just look around, find some secrets maybe, and even find some things to do, even when you're exploring. Who knows, you may find, I don't know, like darts, or something like that, where's the darts thing? Yeah, am I, am I playing darts? Yeah. Number two, get cars in a pile and blow them up. This is something I feel like most GTA gamers have done, but if you can, try to challenge yourself. Try to go beyond your max limit. And yes, I know there are only five cars here, but this is for... It's just purpose of the video, alright? Alright, go. Oh. Oh, the LSPD ain't gonna be happy about that. Um... I should probably get out of here. Number three, have a car meet. If you're fortunate enough to be in an online server where people aren't constantly blowing you up by oppressors and deluxos and all kinds of crap like that, and you see or have a exotic car you like, call for a car meet. <sighs> Number three, have a car meet. If you see a nice exotic car, maybe you have one, and you're in an online server that doesn't have a bunch of oppressor and deluxo trollers, call for a car meet. I, I, can't, I can't type, but just ignore it. And if you don't own a car, well, you can just kindly ask someone for their car. Give me the car! I, I said give me the car! Give me, give me the car! Give me your car! I said, this is my car now! This is my car now! Sit down! Sit down! Taser! Taser! Alright, this is mine now. On the topic of exotic cars, well, fast cars, number four, have a street race. This is better with friends, but you actually can challenge the AI to a street race. This is a lot better with friends because the AI isn't very good, good with that kind of thing. With street racing, it's kind of just hit or miss when they when you challenge them with uh, the e-brake technique. But if you have a friend, oh sorry, sorry about that. But if you have a friend who loves street racing, maybe just race them. See, get some of your best cars. They get some of their best cars, and see if see who wins. I mean, it's perfect for GTA. Hey, it just is what we got. And during that street race, or maybe another time, you you may be able to troll them. Say, uh, I don't know, I just do this. Oh, wait, no, it wasn't. I just do this. Which leads me to number five. If you have a friend that- What the- What are you, what are you doing, Grandpa? I'm trying to make a video! Hey, hey, stop messing up my video! Anyway, maybe during the street race or a different occasion, maybe you're running a mission with your friend or something like that. You gotta do the old trick of... Place in an, a little sticky bomb, getting in their car, er, and well, don't 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 do it. I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go. No, no, I don't want it. No, don't do not blow this. This is an expensive car. Or no, it's not like twenty two thousand dollars. I'm, 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 ah! Number six, have a police chase. Um, yeah, don't ask me how I got this. I got those stars, but basically, we all shoot the cops. All right, they're dumb. They're mean. They're just not great people. But what if you didn't shoot them? What if you antagonize them? Say you outmaneuver them with a bit of a, some good driving maneuvers, and they lose you. Well, hey there, hey there, hey there! Oh, oh, oh. Just drag the chase out, and you can maybe even recreate something from a movie. I don't know. 
Oh, it comes down to personal experience. What be or the gameplay? What does it do? What happens? Ah! It all depends on what happens, and like I said, personal experience. If you have like experience driving, hey, but yeah, uh, eventually the cops may catch up though, and it may end up. Uh, oh, I guess shot. Okay, that was it. number seven. Role play. It may be hard to do a specific kind of role play, hey, but if you have a couple of friends and just find a cop car and a couple of other black cars, you should be able to pull off a nice detective role play. And how you get the, the how you get the cop car? Look, you just ask the police nicely for them. Give me the freaking car! Uh, I've had enough of you people. I need this for role play. Hey, I told you to ah! Number eight, go to the vanilla unicorn. Wait, 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 no, 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 wait. That, that's the wrong script. That's the wrong script. Sorry, sorry. Number eight. Please, please tell me this is the right script. Okay, okay, it is. Sure. Okay. Number eight, have an impromptu demo derby. What do I mean by that? Well. Ow. 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 Yeah, basically, just ram your vehicle into everything you see. Everything and every one, every single vehicle you see, and well, it may not be the, be the most fun method. Oh my god! Uh, it should definitely help with get some anger out. Out. Um. Okay, this is. I need to escape cops again. Uh, did Jeremy transition 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 uh, transition to number th uh, nine. Number nine, kidnap civilians. If you have a van that can do this, simply a go by. Hey, no swearing. Simply go behind people, go to vehicle preferences, go to doors, and open the rear doors. Then... Got him! Oh wait, my, do my door fell off. Um... Uh, now someone wants to fight me. Um... Uh... Y'all get the picture. Y'all get the picture. Ow, ow, ow. And number 10, face the police with a challenge. We've all had those two-hour, five-star standoffs with the police, with all of our weapons we just carry in our back pockets. But what if you didn't do that? What if you challenge yourself? Maybe melee only, maybe snipers only, maybe shotguns only. In this case, melee only. Okay, it didn't last very long. Yeah, I see you, Jeremy. I'm about to give you what you deserve for giving me those stupid scripts. D uh, uh, oh, oh, uh. Yeah, I guess I, it's my responsibility to do the outro now. Um, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, as always, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Help me. No more Jeremy.